Portugal is easily one of Europe's most visited countries. Takes in a large part to affordability, ideal holiday weather, and its some incomparable attractions. Let's talk about some of the best places to visit in Portugal. Once the capital of Portugal, this charming town is a treasure chest of stunning gardens, historical sites, fado music, and dynamic culture. Located near the Mondego River in the center of Portugal, Coimbra is a city of medieval churches and an intricate maze of cobbled streets that are stunning. The town gets its energy and influence from the University of Coimbra. Founded in 1209, it is one of the oldest universities in Europe. This archipelago is made of nine volcanic islands scattered over several hundred nautical miles and best known for the hot mineral springs, first class whale watching and lovely seaside town. This beautiful town has been named by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. Evra is 2000 years old and overflowing with Moorish courtyards. Renaissance fountains, gothic turrets, medieval squares, and the labyrinth of tiny streets. Set alongside the near Aveiro, Aveiro is a lively city whose nickname is the Venice of Portugal because of its picturesque bridge, high proud boats, and the charming network of channels. In fact, the town is best explored by Muricel, a traditional wood once used for everything seaweed. Just off the Lisbon coast, Sintra is simply breathtaking. Pretty villas, royal retreats, amazing green hills, and fairy tale castles define this beautiful town. The highlight is Sintra, Palacio da Pena, and the ancient ruins at the Castle of Mors. Porto is the city that gave Portugal its name. But locals will tell you its most known for its port wine. This busy city spreads itself across the hills that overlook the Douro River in North Portugal. The historic center is an natural heritage site where you find a Ribeira, a wonderful pedestrian zone with cafes, live music, street vendors and mouth watering cuisine. Encircled by several rings of the medieval walls with a Moorish castle at its center, Obvious sits on top of a hill with astonishing views. The town's main attractions are the historic center and its medieval castle. Here you can enjoy an Asian music festival in October and the International Chocolate Festival each March. With a nickname like Floating Garden of the Atlantic, you know you're in for a fun and relaxing time. Madeira is an archipelago in the Atlantic located between Portugal and North Africa. It is popular for its wines, the most sea orchid garden and the Laurisilva forest. If you're looking for sun, sand and sea, you'll want to put Algarve at the top of your list. Here you'll find fantastic beaches, Mediterranean climate, 3,000 hours of sunlight a year, almost no rain, delicious cuisine, affordable cost of living, world-renowned, golf courses, picturesque towns and rich history. Portugal capital and largest city stretches along the banks of the Tagus River, covering seven hills that form an unbelievable destination vacation, with many full coffee cathedrals, distinct neighborhoods, Fantastic weather, grouped alleyways with traditional father music serving as soundtrack everywhere you go. In the Baixa, Lisbon's downtown, you'll find the old traditional shops where some of the craftsmen have worked for generations. Alfama, an old Moorish quarter, is the oldest district in the city known for its rustic architecture as well as St. George Castle. Its historical center is UNESCO World Heritage Site and the city itself was 2012 the European capital of culture. Guimarães is the birth city of Portugal. It all started during the Battle of Somamed in 1128. 
Afonso Henriques, the first king of Portugal, won the battle and set in motion the founding of our small beloved country. You can visit not only the 10th century medieval castle but the ducal palace as well, built in the 15th century. Home to the sanctuary of Fatima, a sacred pilgrimage site for Catholics. The central Portuguese town is heavily influenced by its patron saint, the Virgin Mary. You can visit the Capelinha das Aparições, where she allegedly appeared in 1917.